what is up guys it's me your girl shot and welcome back to my channel if you are new here then welcome to the channel if you are new scratch that welcome back period so today is sub sunday if you don't know what sub sunday is sub sunday is when you guys can send in your story times i won't expose anybody on the story time and i just read it back and give you guys advice like i'm going to tell the stories that you always wanted to tell but you just ain't want to tell it yourself period so you guys can see by the title it's gonna get real juicy the title is i got exposed i picked this one because it seems interesting so let's just get into it so this story was hard for me to even express because it was so embarrassing because i couldn't believe this nigga would try me niggas be niggering this was leading into my senior year of high school i was dating this boy f boy i had met him my 10th grade year he was a basketball player for high school and i felt like that girl of course and i wasn't a cheerleader either period we grew up together and i guess 10th grade year we just decided to go for it nothing wrong with that period so of course you know normal relationships going out supporting him at games you know the females hating of course you know that one thing they gonna do if they don't do nothing else they gonna wait i lost my v card to him oh it was mutual we both agreed that this was what we wanted nothing was forced at all so after we started of course it continued uh, not friend so one day he asked me when we were when we were about to do it to record it and I wasn't feeling it. I told him no because I had just started having sex and I wasn't on that expert level yet. And honestly, I didn't feel confident in my body enough to be filmed. So he wasn't mad or anything. He just said, okay, and we moved on. Well, at least he was respectful because, you know, most dudes be going crazy. So one day we were in gym and I was sitting with a group of girls I hung with in gym. And we were just talking about our first times and what we like and didn't like. So I was very, very aware of how they like to gossip. So I only shared little things because I did not want my business roaming around the high school. Very smart, friend. Very smart. Rule number one in high school, baby. Don't tell nobody your business unless you want to be the news of the next day. So we going to make this girl, we going to name this girl expert because baby, she knew everything about everything when it came to the topic. But she was really cool and confident in herself. So kudos to her. Okay, expert. I don't know about that name though. I asked her was she scared and she was like no because the trick was to record it on your phone that way the only person who has the video is you and nobody else can see it. Girl first of all why you know all that and you only what was great y'all was in 11th grade. So of course my mind started wondering and thinking oh lord friend. When she said that I don't know why it clicked in my head to even try it but it made a lot of sense. So I told F-Boy we could try it, but I'll just record it on my phone. I don't like what is going, friend, already. So the day came when we tried it, and I set my phone up, and we did it, and we watched it together. So I told him that if he ever wanted to watch it, it would be on my phone. So he kept asking why he couldn't have it if we together and I love him, then I should trust him. And I just couldn't send it. I didn't have the dumbness in me to do so. I said I didn't have the dumbness in me to do so and that's on period friend to school in gym class i'm feeling like that girl when we started talking about it but i never said that i had the video i just threw hints again i didn't need nobody in my business period i'm glad that you didn't go back running your mouth because one thing about yeah so i kept the video in my snapchat and my phone locked up so nobody could see it so f boy and i was chilling one day in my house and of course y'all know where this is about to go oh lord friend i don't know what it's about to go let me keep reading y'all I went to the bathroom and left my phone. Friend, no. Uh, why would you? Uh, I left my phone, not thinking of it. Came back, everything was normal but him. Of course that nigga ain't normal. He got the evidence. We had to tamper with evidence. So he left and went home. And baby, less than 24 hours, I was the talk of the school. Oh, Lord. Less than 24 hours? He was stuck to tell them folks about y'all the girl from gym class came running up to me stressing girl i didn't know you had skills like that by the way i'm like that for real okay friend, friend said i'm like that for real at least you ain't at least it wasn't like a video that was dry at least it was fun if you was gonna give something give something to talk about but don't give nothing at all i'm not telling y'all to go out there and do all that but kept asking her what was she talking about she said girl you an f boy video is going around the entire school i said what video when a girl showed me my video that was in my phone i couldn't do nothing but cry <sighs> how in the world i would have felt if oh i oh oh let me keep reading. I went straight to F boy and asked him how did our video get out when it was in my phone. This boy goes to say I airdropped it to. 
my heart would have dropped. Forget airdrop. My heart just would have dropped. I airdropped it to me when you went to the bathroom just to have it because you wouldn't give it to me. And that's why she didn't give it to you. This is the reason she didn't give it to you. So, I'm stressing out. Like, okay, so how does the entire school know? He says he don't know how the video got out. Y'all, I started fighting this boy in the middle of the hallway. As you should, friend. As you should. Principal pulled both of us into the office because the video had now got to him and the teachers. Oh, that's embarrassing. He asked to see both our phones and guess what I found out? This boy sent the video to the sports group chat to get cool points. You sent our video to a group chat full of niggas? I just don't understand, guys. Like, I'm gonna keep going. But why would you want our video, what we do in sacred, for everybody else to see? Like, that is just so weird to me. But anyway, he sent, the, he sent to the sports group chat to get cool points so he could be that nigga. And they sent it to everybody in our school. <sighs> Girl. I was so embarrassed, but it gets worse. Oh, Lord. Of course, now our parents were involved. Ooh. Oh, my mom came to the school and the look on her face was so heartbreaking because my mom had never looked at me with so much disappointment before. Girl, you got me about to cry because that, I can only imagine like a mom coming to an office and just, his mom of course was upset because he sent out, he sent the video out to his friends. He got kicked off the team and we both were expelled from school and we couldn't go back to that school at all. That just took my breath away. Can you imagine dating someone you thought you loved and trusted? Kind of. <laughs> it's the kind of. And that's why you didn't trust him. Something told you. That's why it just those, those intuitions be real. That's why you didn't trust him. Exposing you without even thinking about how it could affect you. The entire school knowing about it and being expelled right before your senior year. I was homeschooled the next year, of course, and my mother's trust was gone for almost a year. I still sit and get so sad sometimes because no one will ever forget that moment. It honestly felt good telling this story. I love your story times because people can express themselves and you are very hilarious and pretty. I also wanted to know, can you give me some advice on how to get over this because it still eat me up inside. Love, oh, I ain't gonna tell y'all her name, but I love you too, Pooh. First of all, friend, I just wanna say I am so sorry that happened to you because honestly, that shouldn't happen to anybody ever because that is a situation. I think that's another reason why a lot of people say, you know, don't even think about sex in high school. Don't think about sex in school at all because situations like that happen. You know what I'm saying? So my first advice for anybody that's in school, high school, middle school, don't, don't do none of that. Like don't even, because situations like this can happen where you get exposed. And I'm not even just saying from a video, like you have sex with somebody, guys really do run their mouth for real, as you can, as you can see. They run him out. So it's like, even if you don't record, what if he just go tell a group of people? Now you got a rumor going out about, like, about you in school. You know what I'm saying? So don't even get into any of that in high school because all of that stuff really don't matter. Just save yourself for the right person, especially when you graduate, okay? And then to you, friend, honestly, don't let that situation control who you are now. You know, you live and you learn and you learn your lesson to, one, never do that again. You know what I'm saying? And don't allow the comments and the hates because some people have been through stuff before like i've been through something embarrassing it wasn't like that on that term because i can't and so i can't really give you advice on that term but i have been publicly humiliated by a guy before um and i really got to the point where i just didn't want to talk to nobody i didn't want to do nothing but then it doesn't help the problem it doesn't you just sit you heal you learn your lessons don't let it consume you you know what i'm saying don't let it stop you from dating people either because of this a-hole's mistake but as a person, like, just know yourself now. Whenever you get to the point of something that you're not comfortable with, express that. Let them know I'm not comfortable doing that. If you aren't okay with me saying no, then, you know, maybe I'm not the one for you. I feel comfortable. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to prove nothing to nobody. That's just something you don't want to do. And there's somebody out there who will love you for you, even if you don't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? So just be with somebody. But when you're with people, be true to yourself. Everybody makes mistakes. And everybody grows from them like the purpose of making mistakes is learning you learn never to do that again you learn to not set aside how you feel about something you learn so don't let nobody come out here and try to 
tease you about it. Girl, please, there's people out here that got skeletons in their closet that they still ain't dealt with. So you don't have to worry about them. But that's my advice, friend. Again, I am so sorry that that happened to you. I'm happy that you are moving forward in this situation. And I pray that you are doing great in school, wherever you're at right now. I'm glad. You, I hope you stop talking to him. So that's just that. If you guys enjoyed this story time, comment down below if you ever had experience like that. Or comment down below some advice that you guys will actually want to give her. And make sure you have your post notifications on so your phone can beat buzz right and do whatever it does when you go post another video make sure you are subscribed we are almost at 1k y'all already know what i'm finna say i'm ready for the 1k giveaway so let's make sure we subscribe and make sure the post notifications on i love you guys and i'll see you guys on the next sub sunday